Hello everyone and welcome to our course on JavaScript programming. My name is Kaushal and I will help you learn the fundamentals of JavaScript and what programming in JavaScript is all about. Our goal throughout this course is to ensure that you can understand JavaScript to a level so that you can tackle any problems you get and whatever projects you are set out to do in future. In this particular session, we will go through the introduction to JavaScript. We will see why JavaScript was developed, what was the need for JavaScript and also the evolution in technology in recent few decades. Basically, I will give you a brief introduction behind JavaScript programming. So without any further delay, let's get started. JavaScript was developed in the year 1995 by a person named Brendan Eich. Brendan was working for Netscape Communications while he developed JavaScript in 10 days. There were a few changes in the name of JavaScript. Initially it was Mocha which was later changed to LiveScript and then it finally became JavaScript. The start of JavaScript wasn't that good as so many developers who were using Java at that time. They considered JavaScript as a language for designers and non-engineers. No one ever knew that this small side scripting language would have a great future. Today. More than 90% of the websites out there, they are using JavaScript somehow. Many of you guys gets confused with Java and JavaScript. Let me clear it for you that both Java and JavaScript, they are different languages. They have almost nothing in common. Many people say that JavaScript was named after Java as a part of a marketing strategy to gain wider acceptance and recognition. In 1995, Java was a buzzword when JavaScript was developed. That's why they renamed JavaScript after Java. Let's move on to what is JavaScript. Have you guys ever been through a website where you can see images that slides automatically? One such website is Amazon. The home page of Amazon where we can see different types of ongoing sales is an example of JavaScript. In layman language, JavaScript is a lightweight scripting language used to make web pages more interactive and more lively. Earlier, when JavaScript was developed, it was only a side scripting language to do basic tasks like you can add pop-ups in your web page or you can make your web page more interactive. Nothing more than that. But now, the whole scenario has changed. With the help of JavaScript, we can create applications as well. If we talk about applications, let's take an example. Let's suppose we want to create an app. We can create it in Android or in iOS. But we have to learn few different languages to create those apps. For Android, we have to learn Java and XML. And Swift, we have to learn for iOS. But with the help of JavaScript, you can create hybrid applications, which can work on any platform without any problem. Tech giants like Google, PayPal, Amazon and YouTube, they are using JavaScript these days. The evolution of JavaScript in the past few years was unbelievable. Suppose you want to create a single page website. Every one of us is familiar with Gmail, let's suppose. So Gmail is a single page website which looks more like a desktop software than a website. So Gmail is based on Angular.js. It is a popular framework by Google which is free of cost and it is totally based on JavaScript. Now let's go over some of the features of JavaScript. These features are actually why it is considered that using JavaScript is advantageous over other languages. So let's start with some of these points. JavaScript is not a proper programming language. Indeed, it is a scripting language which works in the runtime environment just like Python. So, there are few other languages like C++ and Java, they need a compiler to work. But with JavaScript, you don't need a compiler. Once you are done with the script, it will interpret and show you the output in the browser directly. Next up is lightweighted. JavaScript can provide programming facility to some extent. In JavaScript, you don't need to specify any data type or return type which helps in making development more quicker. That's why it is known as lightweighted. JavaScript is both client-side as well as server-side technology. Client-side technology runs on the user's computer, whereas the server-side technology runs on the web browser. Initially, when JavaScript was introduced, it was introduced as a client-side technology. 
but with the introduction of node.js in 2009 one can now work in the back end as well there is a way to validate the user's data before sending it to the web server and we can do that with the help of javascript the data will be checked for correct form and value all we have to do is start a loop give it the condition to check the data javascript is also platform independent although originally designed to work on browsers only but now it is a platform independent language which means once you are done with the script you can use it on any browser or platform without any problem JavaScript is an object based scripting language although many programmers do not consider JavaScript as a true object oriented programming language due to its lack of class concept it does support other features of object oriented programming like it supports encapsulation it supports polymorphism and also it supports prototypal inheritance the last but not the least feature of javascript is case sensitive so when it comes to keywords identifiers names and functions javascript differentiates between capital and lower case letters we have to keep this in mind while programming now i will quickly go over some of the javascript applications where javascript is currently being implemented first one that comes to every person's mind is web development it was also the main motive behind developing javascript we have technologies like angular we have node.js we can create beautiful web pages also javascript can be used along with html and css to make those static looking web pages more engaging if we talk about other applications of javascript we can use it in app development either mobile app or web app like we took the example before that how hybrid apps made with the help of javascript can take over traditional android and ios app one of the most important and unique application of javascript is in smartwatches the bangle.js is an open sourced smartwatch powered by javascript gordon williams the man who is currently working on this project it is said that this new open sourced stack built around javascript will replace the onboard firmware soon The next application of JavaScript is client-side validation. As we discussed earlier, JavaScript is used to validate the user data whether the user's input is correct or not by cross-checking it with the given condition. Like the user wants to enter in your website and you want it to be a user with at the rate gmail dot com in his email ID. So you will give that condition to JavaScript and it will cross-check it with the user's information. Like when the user will try to enter in your website, it will check that if at the rate gmail.com is there or not in the user's email id so it can validate the user also apart from that one more application of javascript is game development javascript can be used to make fully fleshed 2d or 3d games using different libraries although most javascript game development focuses on creating games used in browsers only till now we have an idea about what javascript is its features and its applications so if you want to learn javascript you need to do some basic things to make your learning experience more smoother let's take a look at the prerequisites to use javascript the first one is the basic knowledge of html and css to use javascript along with html and css you first need to know how html and css works see html is used to create the structure of a web page while css is used to style that web page in order to use these two with javascript you need to have the basic knowledge of html and css because if you want to learn a new language first of all you need to know why to use that technology and to learn javascript more efficiently you need to have the basic knowledge of html and css It's better to have a web browser that supports JavaScript like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or you can use Safari as well if you are using a MacBook. You will need an operating system like Windows, Linux or Mac operating system to learn JavaScript. A computer with minimum 512 MB of RAM would be enough for you to start learning JavaScript. But I will recommend you a computer with 1 GB of RAM or 4 GB of RAM for a better experience. You can use any text editor. You have Notepad which is free and is already available for Windows. Uh, if you don't want to use Notepad, you can use other free softwares like Sublime or you can use Visual Code. In this particular course, we will be using Visual Code and I'll tell you how to install Visual Code and what are the features of Visual Code. also suppose you do not have any prior knowledge about javascript don't worry about it 
we will take you through the whole course and we will ensure that you can understand javascript that's all for this video see you in the next one where we will go through why one should learn javascript we will also look at the different types of jobs you can get after learning javascript if this video helped you anyhow do like it comment your doubts share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you